Hey guys, welcome to Safi Next. In this video, you will learn about how to add bibliography to a scientific document written in law texts such as theses or research papers. There are two different ways of producing bibliography in a scientific documents. One I would like to call manually and the other can be done by using a package such, such as Biptix and Lawtix. However, in this video, I will focus on adding bibliography manually to your scientific document. So to learn it, let's move to the document. You see here I'm working in document class article and no special package is needed for producing a bibliography. The default style of the package article is sufficient for getting the job done. Bibliography is added to a logic document under the bibliography environment which is usually put at the end of the document just before to the end document command. The number in the argument represent the length of the references list in the bibliography section. This number could be anything, however, it must be greater than the number of references in the reference list. An entry in the bibliography is initiated by the command bib item, and every bib item entry contains three, or three parts the label argument, key argument, and information. The label argument is optional. The key, argument, the key argument is mandatory and obviously the same is true about the information part because this provides the information about your reference. I would like to begin by first using the, the entry in the label command and that I do from the next entry. So I delete this section and activate the reference in the next section and add the label argument. The, the label argument usually contain the first name of the author of the uh, paper or book along with the year of publication in the form this. For example, I'm putting Safi 2020. When this label is used, the entry is in fact labeled with Safi 2020. And I would like to add a key over here and that I would call Safi one. So if I build the document, you will see that the reference is labeled with what was entered into the label argument. Usually in, when this style is used, the volume number of the reference or the page number is also added. For example, if I put 77 in the label argument, I will, you will see that is added to the level argument as well. If I cite the reference inside the text and that is done through the what is entered into the key argument and here I have entered Safi 1 so this is the key and whenever I use this key the logic will refer to this one entry in the bibliography list. I have written that over here and if we build the document you will see that the same information which we have entered into the label argument is put over here. Now let's move to removing the optional argument and if I remove the optional argument the entry would be labeled with uh, numbers. If I run the document now it is just labeled with one. If I add another reference, like I repeatedly put the same one, but that would be a second entry and I would change the key from one to two so that the lattice could differentiate between these two entries. It is this key through which the lattice can differentiate between two references in the list. If I build a document, the second one will now be listed with two. And if I cite the second one over here, the two references can be cited by putting them in the same list as argument to the cite command like over here. If I build a document, 
So again, you will see now the two references are added number wise. So this list, the order of this list depend on the order of the entries and the order of this list depend on the order of this entries. So if I add another one that will be labeled with three and so on.